FAC co-main event is brought to you by Herzog, providing state-of-the-art equipment, technology, construction, and maintenance services to railroads, transportation authorities, and prime contractors for over 50 years. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Braxton Everett. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, G. Money Gage Young. Oh, baby, let's go. All right, gentlemen, come here. All right, guys, shake hands if you choose to do so. If you choose to touch. All right, gentlemen, let's go back to sports. Good sense of sportsmanship before we get this fight started. Okay, you ready? Ready? It's fight, gentlemen. Braxton Everett in the face early, catching the kick and lands a straight right down the pipe. Pez dispenses the head of Gage Young there. Big high kick skids off the, the top of the head of Gage Young. Gage eats another good left hand there. Left leg popping for Braxton Everett. Good calf kick. And that's a good way to make that lead leg stop popping up and flicking you in the head or the body. Good left hand just sneaks through again for Brexton Everett. We, we spoke about this in the amateur fights, but it's almost the herky-jerky. Uh, you don't know what they're doing. It's not the most technical thing that catches you slipping. And that's kind of what we're seeing from Brexton. Not saying it's untechnical, but it's just not usually what you see. And he's having quite a lot of success with it early on in this round, as we see him pop uh, Gage's head there with the jab again. Right. There's, there's definitely a difference between... Um Poor technique and just uh, awkwardness, right? You know, there's there's definitely a way to use the those kind of strikes to your advantage, and we're seeing it here early. 100%. That there's many fighters, as we see a visual, visible, sorry, uh, reaction to that calf kick from Brexton Ever. I think he felt that last one. But there's fighters that have made a career off being awkward. Uh, Tim Elliott, his, his nickname is Awkward, he, and he, he's fought for world titles at the highest level in the UFC of being awkward, so nothing wrong with it. Oh, wow, and that calf kick drops Brexton Everett and he covers up. I think this is probably all she wrote. This is gonna be it. Not sure he could stand on that leg. He tried to get back up. Gay okay, Jung, I'm gonna show a little bit of mercy there. Like, hey, uh, he just went down off a calf kick. Is it over? Referee's Diving like, uh -uh. on the Kimura here. Gage has got to be a little bit careful, but if he can pass around. Yeah, it's, it's tough with, with no leg grips. You know, if you don't have your legs involved to glue someone down, you know that calf kick's coming. Oh, golly. And let's see if he uses it. Yes, that's a question mark kick. Beautiful read for Gage Young to say, hey, I hurt your leg. Let me fake that real quick. Yeah, let's see if he goes to the body and then goes back up top. Oh, this fight's basically over. Yep. See if Gage yep, that lets him up. Oh, big shot. With that amount of posture, that's a big shot. Yeah. And this fight's over. No, no intelligent defense, kind of just folded like a t-shirt there was Brexton Everett. You definitely see those late, those cap kicks uh, pay dividends early, went to the well, and you know, that was all she wrote early. A win's a win, baby. Hey, take it, take it, be happy. Great performance uh, for, for Gage Young. He seems not to be uh, happy. Maybe he thinks that the fight shouldn't have stopped earlier. But regardless, amazing performance for Gage Young. Here we are on the Concrete Inc. replay. A big right hand landed early for Brexton Everett, but... Yeah, but Gage Young kind of just licked his lips and said, let's keep fighting. That, that was the most uh, impactful shot for him of the night. After that, it was just a one-way freight train that is Gage Young. Yeah, that calf kick was nasty. Here we see another one. It just crumples the leg of Brexton Everett and then the big round of pound shots for the finish. Improving to seven and one. Gage G Money Young, one step closer from changing the words on those gloves to UFC.
another first round finish for KG Money Young. And I think all that's left to do here is send it to my man Brian Wood down in the ring for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at two minutes and 41 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes out of the red corner, G Money Gage Young. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by your winner, Gage G Money Young. Another impressive performance. We've seen highlight reel knockouts from you time and time again. This time, basically via calf kicks. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. I'm I'm a young kid. I got a lot of I got a lot of good wins behind me. Uh, I'm close to taking that next step. I've had multiple opportunities to go to the UFC. They offered them a little too early for me, but I'm starting to get the confidence to back my skill, and eventually my skills will be recognized on a world stage. That that fight IQ is so important, especially at, at your age. You're a hometown hero here. You're you're FAC staple. What's next for you? Hey man, I don't know, I'm gonna enjoy Christmas. I'm gonna get back to training. I feel like I really leveled up in my last fight camp. I'm having a good time training right now, man. I'm looking forward to just getting back into the gym and continue to do what I love. Hey, and if Uncle Dana calls, I'll be there to pick it up. Uncle Dana, you heard my guy. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Gage Young. G Money Young improving to seven and one in the Milagro winner's circle. Looking for the call from Uncle Dana. The Iridium Sports Management prospect is truly just that. One of the top prospects we have to offer here in the entire Midwest.